Yeah, that's just me pulling faces. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so uh, I am working on this uh, dagger. Right, and uh, well, let's do this. Yeah. So a lot of guys have asked about uh, playing up the blade and uh, the alien blade. Yeah, and uh, as well as uh, what's the the wrapping for and blah 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 blah. So there's obviously a lot of guys that are. Uh, Interested in this, but uh, do not want to go and uh, go and check out the the YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, Matt, how's it going, buddy? And Neil, how's it, man? All right, so uh, there's quite a few guys. Philip, how's it going, brother? Uh, Sean, welcome, man. All you guys up from YouTube, that is freaking brilliant. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's take that comment off. Um, all right, so basically the setup is uh, Condorcet. The green coating is Condorcet. Yeah, so that one there. So let me let me do this. That one there. Yeah. So Z eleven hundred. So this is an anti-scaling comp compound, and that you can find at uh, my good mate, Mister Stan Ohaski. Down in Cape Town, yeah. As far as I'm aware, he stocks these, and he has stock. Yeah, so that's an anti-scaling compound. Done. That's the green stuff, yeah. So uh, the wire, yeah, well, that's it. That's jeweler's binding wire, yeah, so black wire. Uh, not the galvanized stuff, not the, the funkiness, blah, 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 blah. And the main reason I put this on is um, the clay I use is uh, Holtz gun gum. Yeah, the stuff you use to plug a hole in your car's muffler or your truck's muffler. Yeah, the exhaust pipe. Yeah, so that, that's the stuff I use. Um, and if you go in, uh, look, it, it is full of crap. Um, so if you go in and it's too wet, it's going to pop off. If you let it dry for like four days and you forget about it and you go in, uh, it, it's going to pop off. Yeah. So I like that there. Um, just as, as a bit of a thing to grab onto. Yeah. And then it doesn't matter um, whether I go in, uh, whether it's still wet or not. Just keep in mind that if you go in and it's still wet, it's going to blow up. It's going to pop up, puff up on you. Yeah, and then I've got my all important sticks. Yeah, ordinary tongue depressor that I split in half by literally doing this. This is rocket science. Yeah, and then I get a sharp one. Okay, so I don't want that sharp one. So then I go and split it again. Yeah, that's better. Okay, but I've already done that. And the first one broke better. So it happens if you do stuff on live. All right, so, um, and then I have just got a handy little rig to hold onto the blade yeah and i'm just gonna lock that up um i am wearing my apron so if i do poke myself in the stomach there's at least a bit of protection yeah but one thing you need to keep in mind when you're working with a an exposed blade is uh well so it's on your brain before you start doing anything yeah um gloves optional you are going to get extremely dirty because by the nature of this thing these this stuff it sticks like crap to a brand new woolen blanket. Yeah. Marky Mark, how's it going, buddy? And then I've got Mr. Tim Brown in the house. Uh, Jake, how's it going, brother? Sean, how's it going, dude? So you've got quite a few guys. Uh... Hello from Argentina. How's it going, brother? Thank you and a welcome. Yeah. All right, so let's get to it. Um, so this I've already opened up, obviously. Um, and uh, so I wanted to start claying this up. And then I decided, uh, let me do it live. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, so I scoop everything out and I've got my hands and I've got that in the hands and I'm just just softening it up. Yeah. Okay. Good. So and then it's nice and malleable. So I'm just going to grab a lot of it. And I'm going to start by just rubbing it onto the blade. Yeah, just rubbing it into the actual blade itself. Yeah, so I'm not doing a specific like Jack and Japanese, freaking Chinese, whatever application. I am just 
freaking sticking this stuff on there. Because as soon as you understand what the clay's function is, and that is to keep heat in specific areas, yeah, then uh, well, you can go and draw your pictures if you want to. Uh, I'm not there yet. Yeah, so all I want is uh, some of the stuff on the blade that's going to retain heat a tad longer. Um, and I still haven't decided whether I'm going to be doing an interrupted quench, whether I'm going to do a full quench. Well, it's definitely going to be a full quench, but whether I'm actually doing an interrupted quench or just uh, stick it in there and keep it still. I don't know yet. And then, I'm, as you can see, um, I just put it on and now I'm rubbing it off. Yeah. So I just need a thin layer. Um, I see a lot of guys are putting a huge, thick chunk of the stuff on there and you do not want to drop any of this. And step on it, yeah, because that is just gonna piss your wife off. Mm -hmm. And then what you definitely need is some water, because like I mentioned, this stuff dries solid, man. And if you don't uh, keep your hands moist while you're doing this, uh, you are gonna be battling your proverbial butt off to get the stuff off, yeah. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, I am scraping a bit of this off. Yeah, so I'm just exposing my edge. Yes, they were so slightly. When you're going to go in there with a, a stick and make it all look nice, do some weird and wonderful stuff on it. Yeah, maybe a bit more. <whistles> Let's grab a stick and start moving stuff. Yeah, why not? So what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I definitely don't want that much on there so let's just i don't know do some random stuff here uh what i'm doing is i'm scraping the stuff to the to the center of the blade that's it yeah and what i have found if you want like a real oh, i don't know funkiness happening on your hamon you need to replicate what you have on the one side to the other side yeah But for me, yeah, all I want to do is I'm going to be doing an interrupted quench. Um, so all I want is just to affect that straight line on the edge. I'm not going for a specific pattern or a whatnot. Like I said, I just want to do affect that, that quench line. That is it. So... We are just going to randomize. This is really intense stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, I'm going to put a bit more on the side, though. There, I took too much off. Oh, that's the beauty of it. You can all stick a bit back, right? And then I take it off again. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. I have actually taken too much off there. But we'll see. I actually want it on the spine, which is where it is. And you'll notice the clay that's sitting under the wire. Yeah, um, that's actually the stuff that I'm interested in. Let's drag a bit more of that down. Now you can just leave it as is. Uh, so stick it on, leave it, and then that'll do the trick. But I just want to take those eye spots, dump them down. And then here I might want to expose a bit more. Because I'm not too sure up to where I'm going to be quenching the blade. Yeah. Uh, so in other words, height-wise. So obviously it'll need to be up to there for the initial quench uh, to heat treat these two wings. But if I'm deciding to do a secondary homon on it or a secondary transition, I might only quench up to there. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'll go and have a think about that. In my library. So the guys that know what the library is, if you guys didn't know, it's a toilet, right? That's where you sit and do your thinking. So, any questions so far? Holy crap. Okay, hold on. There are, there are some questions. Uh, let's have a look. 
Uh, how's it going, Joe? And we've got Saki. How's it going, man? Aubrey. Absolute pleasure, brother. Absolute pleasure. And then Quiz. How's it going, man? Quiz is an extremely good mate. Bladesmith down in Durban, South Africa. What kind of clay is that? It is Holtz. Holtz gun gum. Yeah, and the stuff you uh, patch your car's exhaust system with if you have a, a bit of an issue with it. Uh, Australia. Uh, what makes you pick that clay over other kinds? Uh, brother, it's because it is easily available. Yeah, you can walk into any garage, uh, like filling station, uh, hardware store. Everyone has them, and uh, it is manufactured. Uh, it's got a fiber in it. It's a factory clay, and it's made to stick like funking mad on anything. Neil, brother, how's it going, dude? Uh, the only real muso I know, yeah? <laughs> You're a machinist still standing here in my shop, buddy. Yeah, dude. No, no, no the coffee is finished, Chris. The, the, there's the actual coffee mug. Yeah, so that one is, unfortunately, is finished. I finished my coffee before I started the slot. Yeah. Uh, who else is saying there? Oh, thanks, man. Uh, who else is in here? Sean. Um... <laughs> it, it, it's, it happens on every, every stream, man. Um, and then Neil's reckon, yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, so, uh, Aubrey, no, you're, you're not the only guy with his uh, mind in the gutter, yeah? I had to seriously focus to get mine out, man. So I had a very cool phone call today. From a local gentleman asking me if I would want to participate in a YouTube uh, I don't know, phone call call thing. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. They're apparently going to set it up. Um, it's feedback regarding the new upload system on YouTube. Yeah, so that's one for the books. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, not that I have any, ever had any issues uploading to YouTube. It's like one of the few things in my life that actually works. Yeah, so uh, I want to grab a bit more of the clay and I want to stuff a bit more into, uh, into that uh, fuller. Yeah. So the whole idea behind the Condrasol is obviously anti scaling. Yeah, that's the green stuff. Um, I have never, never, never added Condesol to a blade that I was planning to clay up. I've never done that. Um, so, yeah. Normally, I would finish a blade, it's like something like this. I would finish it up to, I don't know, like 1,200 grit and then apply the Condesol because it's an anti-scaling compound, yeah. Um, and then I don't have to hand sand after the fact. So you can hand sand when the thing is nice and soft and blah, 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 get that finish you were looking for and then coat it in condosol. And there you go. When you're done, all you need to do is just quickly, 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 just give it a quick rub over with your last grit and you're done. That's it. This thing here isn't even finished grinding yet. Yeah, so um, man, this is purely just an exercise in, in playing. And condosol is also good if you're doing uh, canister maskers. Um, so what you do is you build your canister. All right, um, and then uh, chuck condosol in there, swirl it around, upside down, back into the, the um, pour and back in, into the tin, lock it up, and then put that tin down and let it dry. Um, and do two or three coats, yeah? Then once everything is dried, two or three coats of the stuff, um, then you chuck your powder in there, do whatever you want, weld that thing up, and I can promise you, as you're working under the power and with a press, it's going to come off. Done. There is no funking way that the stuff wells that that, that that works yeah so uh like i mentioned I'm, I'm just playing with the stuff and see what i can do with it um seeing that i paid quite a bit for it it is expensive if you're doing stainless yeah man guys are complaining about fire scale 
use Condesol. Yeah, it's easy as that. And no, I'm not being sponsored. Not at all. I wished, man. I wished. A lot of guys are thinking that. Uh, yeah, man. If you, if you find a product you like, done. Use it. Yeah. Tell your mates about it. Why? Because uh, your mate might be having just the hardest time as you trying to get that uh, scale off, but he's not going to tell you because he doesn't want to be known as the guy that uh, battles, yeah, that has issues hand sanding. No one even admits to hand sanding. How many of you guys hand sand blades? Yeah. Uh, I can see there's a, there's a comment on Neil asking uh, whether there's a time limit. Um, as far as I understand, no, dude. There's no expiry date in this thing that I've seen. Well, not that I've actually looked. Sorry, I'm looking. Nothing. Um, so what I have found is that mine is going a bit thick, but there is a solvent that you can add on or add in that is readily available from hardware stores. So it's not acetone. It is not... Uh, uh, Spirits, it is not, I can't remember what the, the stuff is called, uh, but Stan did tell me. And I did have a look, and my local build it actually stocks it. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's not an issue. I just haven't gotten around to going and getting any. Yeah. But as for a expiry date, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Where's that one? Joe, absolute pleasure, man. And sanding sucks. Yes, we should start a club. <laughs> exactly, brother. Exactly. Uh, sorry, I'm squinting a bit. <laughs> Tim reckons he, he does, he, he admits to hand sanding, uh, but uh, he also has mental issues, yeah, mental health issues. <laughs> yeah, Brady, um, it's exactly, uh, you prep your canisters, um, pop the stuff in there, and then done, 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 done. Um, I don't think there'll, there'll be any issues of it going off. Uh, in other words, once I've coated this blade, I, I'm, I'm assuming I can leave it for days, even weeks, before I then dip it. Dip it before I heat treat it. And that's something I should actually test. In other words, if you want to pre-prep a load of uh, canisters, hmm, that might be it, man. That might be a plan. But then also, I don't know any bladesmiths that uh, go and make canisters just for the fun of making canisters. Um, building little boxes and they sit on the shelf. Oh, I don't know. Is that a thing? Do you guys build boxes or canisters just so whenever you wake up on a Saturday morning, you just say, hey, the planets are aligned. I can make Damascus. Yeah, in other words, your wife said you could. Um, and then uh, you've got, I don't know, pre-made pre canisters? Is that a thing? Do you know? I mean, I make Damascus maybe like five or six times a year. Um, and when I do, oh, I make enough. Now, I don't sell my Damascus. I use my own Damascus. Um, and then you make enough. So that you you kind of have an idea of the amount of projects that you got and what you what you kind of planning. Not that I make a, a lot of blades, but uh, I mean I've only made Damascus oh three times this year, three times. So I stand corrected, but I haven't done a canister this year. Oh, I actually have two two canisters. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I might actually have a freaking canister standing around that I haven't welded yet thinking about it. I know that there's four pieces of sand that I prepared. 
that I want to do early next week. But this whole, let's build some four stock again, is really screwing with my, uh, my mojo, man. So myself and Sean has been busy with uh, burners today. So the bodies are burners. So I pretty much spent the entire freaking day on the lathe. And then I had a uh, casting furnace to finish, which needs to be delivered tomorrow. Yeah. Those casting furnaces are freaking awesome, man. We am loving them. And every single time I build mine, there's a client that walks in. Oh, this is brilliant. I'll take this. And then you forget to make them on order only. But you know what? I do make them to sell them. But one of these days, guys, one of these days we'll be doing some woots. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that as soon as I've got Woods bullets done, that I'll be selling a lot more of those uh, <laughs> casting furnaces, yeah? <laughs> oh, is my phone telling me... Uh, dismiss. My phone is telling me that um, it's uh, time for an episode of Blow Talk, yeah? Um, we will be consu uh, consuming. We will be resuming with Blow Talk. Uh, at, at at some point, I don't know. We will, we will, we will. Um, I, uh, I, I am having a couple of issues with my well, not issues. The, the guys are still working on my connection. Yeah. Uh, so we got the the twenty meg line is perfect. Just got it set up, and I, then I asked the guys to please upgrade me to a fifty meg line. Yeah. So uh, they are doing that. But for the guys that know where I stay, it is not just as easy as you would think. Staying in a city, phoning your ISP, saying, hey, I want a 50 meg line, please. And then literally seconds later, you're upgraded. No, no, out here where I am. The guys, Johan from uh, from uh, Sigmify, had to build towers yeah, and build specific lines from his... Uh, headquarters up to me so i'm currently the only guy in my area on this line here which is freaking awesome man and initially when i said i want 20 meg he built a 50 meg fiber line yeah and i said hey i want <laughs> i want 50 megs and then uh, they need to go and upgrade the entire line to 100 megs So, yeah, okay, so as you can see, I'm just taking away all the clay on the edge as I do not want that heat tree to run off the edge, yeah. I don't know why the hell I put clay on the tip. There's no need for the clay on the tip. So what also works really well on this is if you've got an extremely hard bristle brush, um, and you can come in and chick, 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 clean that off. So now we just kind of need to make sure that we kind of are matchy-matchy on both the left and the right side. And this really isn't uh, required. It's not required to... Uh, take this off the edge yeah so my edge thickness on this thing is 0 0.8 mil we'll get to comments in a moment gentlemen ladies if there are any present let's scrape off some of this clay on the top here Let's have a look at who's saying what, man. <laughs> mm. 
Mr. Elves, welcome, buddy, all the way from Portugal. Thank you for tuning in, dude. Damascus or golf? Uh, Damascus, dude. <laughs> oh, Sean, hold on, buddy. I, I might be able to sort you. Yeah, uh, give me a call in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I know Jake is saying, I know the feeling of Sanmai on Saturday. Got a piece teasing me. <laughs> Jake, what the hell did you do, buddy? Hey, chopping your fingertips off. Philip, yeah, man. Uh, I 100% agree, bro. Um, it's a lot easier working steel when it is still uh, still soft, yeah? Nice and annealed. Conrad, how's it going, buddy? Uh, you're more than welcome to give me a call, but no, I've actually taken them off the market again. Yeah, Al, not a chance, brother. Not a chance. Well, although I have done that in the past. Um, <laughs> thanks, Michael. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> okay, so um, let, let me continue. Um, you know, I kind of forgot. Well, I was cleaning off the edge. Yeah, so I was mentioning that hard bristle brush. Um, if you know an artist, yeah, artist mate, or even an art supply shop, go and ask them for a stippling brush. That'll work like a charm. And I actually tried to find mine, and I've got no idea what I did with it. Yeah, and as you can see, even, even me scraping, I'm not taking condosol off, which is uh, impressive. Yeah. And obviously, because Condosol is not, uh, that's the green stuff, by the way, if you tuned in late, um, because it's not water-based, well, it ain't going to go nowhere, is it? And after the heat treat, man, it just, you literally just rinse it off. Zip, done. But don't worry, you'll see that. I'll probably be heat treat displayed tomorrow, if everything goes according to plan, although I do need to head into town, so that might... Screw up my uh, my planning. I do need to go and uh, get myself a new bank card. Because mine, guess what? It fell out of my pocket. And uh, I literally drove over the thing. <laughs> it still works. Barely. But uh, I don't want to take chances, man. I don't want to take chances. So I'd much rather go get a replacement card, and then I can take uh, uh, Luan with, because he's caught. He was on some other gaming website where he bought something, and his card got, well, his account got hacked. Um, so they literally, he, he just cancelled his card. So he needs to go and get a new card. Luckily, he didn't lose any money, which is cool. Yeah. But don't just give your card information out willy-nilly. He's learned that lesson, yeah? Especially if you don't see a uh, secure site. But he's learned that lesson. And then there's a new thing coming on, man. My laptop is on his last legs, yeah? So that thing is dying a really slow and terrible death. Um, I bought it... <sighs> I don't know. Uh, been at this property for five years now, so probably six, maybe seven years ago. Yeah. Um, so it's a an i7. I think it's a second or third generation i7. Blah 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 blah. blah. Thing cost me a bloody fortune. But and when I say a bloody fortune, I think it was something like thirty five thousand rand, um, which in US dollars is not not a lot. But for me at that point, it was big bucks. Uh, there's nothing compared to my Dell, but anyway, so um, I finally decided a couple of years later, yeah, with what I'm now doing and, and the video editing and the stuff, um, um, 
it is just my, my machine is dying, man. It is slow. It is freaking slow. I wanted to just upgrade RAM on it. Um, lo and behold, they no longer make uh, the RAM for my laptop. That's how old the fucking thing is. Yeah, and the, the, the CD-ROM is gone, and, well, the DVD-ROM is gone, and blah, blah, blah. Two of the USB ports have broken off, and uh, the hinge on the laptop, uh, <laughs> it's broke because I dropped it. Um, so I've decided to upgrade, yeah? So Luan uh, was building himself a, a PC, obviously, for gaming. And I liked his specs, and I just said, okay, well, add. 32 uh, gig RAM, uh, give me, I think it was four two terabyte hard drives, or two 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 terabyte hard drives, um, and two uh, one terabyte SSDs, and done. Bring it. So, you know, the most amazing thing is I paid for the machine, um, and then, man, it was 15 seconds, and my bank phoned me. Says, uh, Mag, are you aware of <laughs> the stupidly large transaction going through your credit card? And I'm going, yeah, 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 don't worry. Just let it pass. Let it go. Let it go, man. So as soon as that thing's in, yeah. Um, and, and Luan has now been researching. Right? Yeah, so <laughs> he is apparently going to be building this thing for me. Luan, for the guys that don't know, is, uh, well, let's do that is my eldest son yeah so uh he will be building it i knew his brother whose birthday is on friday by the way so i can't forget about that um and he still doesn't know what he wants for his birthday yeah there's a dude that really i mean how huh? don't would say they're spoiled but they're spoiled but anyway so um yeah so they, these are played it's all like done yeah that was rocket science right so that's the one side that's the other side yeah how thick did i go now keep in mind that it, it looks a hell of a lot thicker than it actually is it's maybe three mil thick keep in mind that the blade itself on the top the spine is eight millimeters thick there uh in the center it is uh six mil and at the tip it is i think it's three mil about there yeah so just if you add a millimeter on each side that that's what you're getting <clears throat> mm, and that's it oh I, I do want to mention one thing seeing that you guys are seeing this profile i do want to mention one thing i see so much of this and uh there is one guy on daggers that you also need to go and follow yeah, it's Caleb White. Uh, he's got a saying. Ridding, I don't know, ridding the world of bad dagger design, one design, one dagger at a time. Um, yeah. So with the clay on there, the, the distal taper, on the spine distal taper is quite evident. Yeah. Keep in mind that a dagger is not a flat bar just with a tip. Yeah. That's a broadsword or a greatsword or an executioner's sword. That's the one with a that and then a flat up yeah that's an execution of short um so broad short pretty much parallel and then it comes into it so and we see so many freaking daggers where it's just a piece of flat bar and then right at the end it's got a tip especially if the maker made it out of damascus yeah dude oh man don't don't do that yeah don't do that uh so we actually have quite a few common uh, so Matt is saying he's never tried canister. Um, yeah, dude, the, the easiest way, well, it's a way I use it um, on a canister is I've got uh, my canister in, in the forge and it, you take a bit of, of flux if you really don't know what the temperature looks like. Yeah, or you don't have a digital thermometer or a, a, a PID in the forge. In other words, it can tell you what the temperature is. Um, then take a piece of mild steel round bar. Yeah, so five mil, six mil, stick it in there next to your your canister. Um, and as soon as you reckon everything is up to temperature, and uh, visual cue is that the the steel 
kind of disappears in the background of the forge. It, it, you can see everything is the same color. Yeah, and it, it's a white color. It, it, it's not no longer yellow. It is might not be a bright white. If it sparks, it's too freaking white. Um, <coughs> take your mile, excuse me. Take your mile steel rod, and as soon as you touch it to the canister, <coughs> excuse me. As soon as you touch it to the canister, it wells, and then you're sitting there, and this thing is stuck. Yeah, you take it out, and you're done. Yeah, easy as that. Um, but yeah, man, uh, the problem with uh, forge welding is patience. That, that's the big problem. Eric, well, that's actually not a bad idea. It might be a bit thin uh, for a spear, man. Yeah, Philip, because uh, Condesol has got a, uh, I don't want to say alcohol-based, uh, but it's definitely not a water-based product. Um, so, um, but, but scraping it with a tongue depressor as a test works. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe, 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 maybe I should just take this blade. All right, loosen that up and swing it out of the way. Because I am going to be stabbing myself in the throat, and I really don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Uh, Richard, I want to do Master Smith. I, I was planning on doing Master Smith uh, this year, uh, but obviously, <sighs> our local bug or international bug reared its ugly head. Um, and um, well, Blade Show was postponed. Um, I do have a pay table, it is fully paid. Um, I don't know if my visa will be released, uh, or we will be let out of South Africa to international flights by um, uh, August. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. And and so far <sighs> behind the, the, the virus, do I now want to go say, let's say, as far as South Africa says. <laughs> All right, man, you guys can go fly again. The U.S. said, yeah, man, we'll accept your visa again, the whole thing, and you can actually come in. Am I going to be stuck in a plane with hundreds of other people for uh, what's it, a 16-hour flight, if I get a direct flight? 16-hour flight, breathing recycled air. I'm a lot of things. Stupid ain't one of them. Yeah. So, long story short, I will be doing my master's month next year. Yeah. If I'm still kicking by that time, I will definitely do Master Smith next year, man. Uh, so here's another question. Uh, would you clay up the tang too? Uh, keep it softer? No, 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 just quench the freaking thing. Yeah, quench it and then draw it back after the fact. So after the heat treat, I always, 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 without fail, I will draw back the tang. Done. <laughs> I've tried the, the glasses, man. I, I don't know. Um, don't stare into your forge for prolonged. Don't stare into the forge like you would be staring into your uh, girlfriend or wife's eyes right don't don't do that uh, glancing into the forge yeah but staring it into it for a long amount of time is just you're gonna freaking fry your eyes man don't do it the amount of uva and uvb reflected by forges are just freaking ridiculous um heard of archives that's a real thing man <laughs> fuller brother yeah yeah, man, the arrowhead dag dagger looking thing on Insta. Uh, your brother, give me your uh, Instagram uh, uh, handle. Yeah, pop it up here. How's it going, brother? Uh, Mr. Weedman, exactly. Yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, how's it going, Simon? Yeah, so um, stay home. Exactly. Yeah, and seeing that on my home, I might as well go big. Yeah. So since this whole lockdown thing started, we are now dagger. I think it's number five, which is brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Stay at home. 
but it's so beautiful. Stay at home, but it's so beautiful. Obviously, I'm now farting around. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that, that was pretty much it, yeah? I'm, I'm looking at the camera as a weird angle. I'm not making eye contact. How's it going? Uh, Joey from Friend. Yeah, um, so I should maybe, anyone, can you recommend something worth watching on Friends? Yeah, uh, I love The 70s Show. I love uh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, um, anything on Netflix kind of combines that. Uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, that is hysterical, but I'm always done with that. Uh, let me know. Yeah, I kind of do a binge watch. There we go. Go follow Mr. Fuller. Yeah. Go follow Mr. Fuller and make a, see the 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 uh, um, uh, spear shaped dagger thingy that he, <laughs> that he made, man. I need a pointing stick. <laughs> I like that. Well, that that is a that, that's a true story, man. See that there? Yeah, and now we do this. See how I line up the little lines. See that missing tip there? Yeah. Don't be stupid. Switch on your brain before you switch on any machine, and uh, before you go all safety and security office on me. Um, that was way before knife making. Yeah. Way, way, way before knife making. Um, I was still a kid, man. I think I was five or six years old. Don't do that. Don't lose the tip of your finger. Yeah. It hurts, number one. And uh, number two, you can't operate a phone, a smartphone with that finger. Keyboards are too small. If I try to tap with this thing, I hit like all the buttons around the button I want to hit. <laughs> so that's why Philip is saying that I need a stick. Yeah, that's a good, good, <laughs> good reason, man. Um, but you're more than welcome. You are more than welcome. The Flash. My kids was watching The Flash the other night. Does it also start, and then it goes all soppy and yeah, like Babylon 5 did. The new. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I should do Star Trek. That's an idea. Robert, how's it going, buddy? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So I think we're going to call it right there. Thank you. Yeah, so that's if you don't get the crap off your hands. Um, I'm going to stop it right there. Thank you for spending time with us. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you learned something. I will uh, try to move all of the kit to the forge and then go and actual heat treat. I, I'm not too sure whether I'm actually will be able to do that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I've got no idea. We'll definitely not be the multi camera thing. Yeah. So we won't be able to flip through different scenes and be all pretend to be all funky and fancy. I will definitely not be able to do that. Um, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I don't know if I want to take this kid to the porch yet. Yeah. So I might just be doing a uh, live from my cell phone. I don't know. All right. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending a bit of time. Questions, comments, as always, leave them below. I will get to them. Yeah? And the only stupid question, that question you didn't answer or you didn't ask. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, get off your lazy asses. Go to your shop. And do something. If your wife says you're not allowed to go into the shop, yeah, don't get work on her nerves. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending a bit of time. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Yeah. And like I mentioned, you, you want any questions? Any questions at all? You want any questions? Damn it. Just ran out of English. Let me just quit there. Done.